So possibly we can try this again and it won't be as laggy. Um, I don't have good luck with streaming at night, but I think it was a good thing I didn't anyways, because <clears throat> first of all, um, well, I couldn't really talk loud and express myself fully because parents were going to sleep and, you know, I don't want to just scream and wake them up. <laughs> That's, you know, kind of an asshole thing to do, so... Um, <clears throat> that was not a thing that I was able to do, but now that it's day, 9.03 a.m., actually now I should go check out Able Sisters, but we'll do that during our tour, so happy late birthday, thank you very much. Yes, uh, oh, I should show you all uh, something else that I got for my birthday. I got this uh, wacky thing. It's like a thing that you lay up against, it really helps with like my back and my neck. And sleeping on these at night, it's so cozy. You're, like, engulfed in this thing, and it's... God, I love it. <laughs> so I'm really happy to have that, too, because I did bring it up to my mom once, and she decided to get it. No, 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 no pineapple juice. No. I blocked. Joking. But <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we are back, and... Uh, we are intact, and uh, let me know if it ever lags. So, um, I, I kind of went over some parts of this already, like mainly just the entrance, and that's it. But like, um, you know, we're gonna go over uh, a tour of the island. Here's something I discovered. Your Animal Crossing is so cute. Thank you so much. I finally found like a good rain outfit, and this is it. Um, I actually here I have a wand. Um, so yeah, I got all these different outfits. Here is, I guess, what I would consider my main one. Uh, it's called Darcy because this is based on actually my Roblox avatar. So uh, that's what this is initially based on. So, and I, I really like the design. So, and then I have this. this is another one of my favorites. Um, I bought two halos so that I can make that work. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna stick to this for now because it's a new one and I really love it. So. Uh, I'm going to pull out the umbrella because it somewhat matches, I guess. I mean, it matches with the style, maybe. Not really, but whatever. It, it works. So cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love how, how it just your umbrella just bleeds into buildings. So I was going to visit Dream Addresses last night and, like, talk about them more because that's really fun to do, and I wanted to visit some. Not necessarily for inspiration. I think I catch all my ideas for my island, and... Um, I, I think I know exactly kind of what I want to do with the rest of the space. So that's, it's a little, I, I don't know. It's, it's a little demotivating, I guess, because now I don't really know what else to add, but whatever. Uh, I'm excited. So, uh, here we have, uh, uh oh, so I was going to go to Dream Islands just because it was fun and I like to look at islands, maybe get some inspiration, you know, maybe get an idea or two. But for the most part, I just wanted to do it for fun. Uh, last night, I the stream didn't work out. Happy late birthday. I can make it to yesterday's stream. It's okay. Our stream didn't work out anyways because it was lagging. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. So basically, uh, that did not work out. But I am glad it didn't because, first of all, I wasn't even going to make it to the Dream Islands because I was just spending so long with the tour because I ramble a lot, obviously. I need to... Like yesterday's stream, the first one, we had two because of technical difficulties, but the first one, uh, a full, like, at least 11 minutes or more of me just talking about random nonsense. That I mean, I think that's, like, my life motto, my stream motto, if you will. That one day when I get a banner that works out because YouTube's dumb, it doesn't let me have a banner, it just, oh, the size is wrong, I don't know. One day when I get a banner, I'm probably gonna have a quote of that, like, at least... Like, count, every every stream viewer of mine should know, count on the first, like, 15 minutes just being rambling. <laughs> but yeah, not literally, but most of the time. Um, so, is it getting cloudy? I don't know. I'm gonna turn up the brightness a bit. Okay, there we go. I couldn't make it to the stream either because I had a headache, and I couldn't handle looking at a small screen for more like one minute. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better now. Yeah, that happens sometimes if you look at screens too much, or maybe you just got a headache because you did, and that's unfortunate, but... Uh, okay, so... 
Do I have to actually... I don't know. I'm wondering about that flag, but for now, we won't. Uh, basically, when I, I, I went to go to Dream Islands on my own last night without streaming because that didn't work out, and I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just go on my own. And I made a shocking discovery. So, you know, how last year was also my birthday because they're kind of an annual thing. Um, last year for my birthday, first of all, I've been playing this game for a year now. And I've had a hat in time for a year as well. So I've been playing both of those for a full year. What an accomplishment. And <laughs> I still only have 300 hours on this game because I only got into it on, uh, whatchamacallit. I only got into it uh, April, pretty much, this year. I, I did a little bit last year, and then I dropped it for a year. So <laughs> um, that's why I missed out on all the events, and everyone is tired of the game except for me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, last year, as well as those, I got the Nintendo Switch Online subscription so that I could play with friends, and I found it really helpful to go trade at uh, Nookazon, get free money from giveaways and events, and I discovered that my subscription has expired. <laughs> I can't visit Dream Islands. I was really, like, torn up about it last night because I was so bored, and boredom for me is such a dreadful feeling. It is not normal boredom. It sucks. And I really wanted to go visit Dream Islands because it's so fun, and I was so annoyed. <laughs> but whatever. We got through it, you know. And, um, <laughs> and so I'm renewing it. I begged my dad over text, like, can you please renew it as soon as possible? Like, this is, like, as soon as possible, please. <laughs> so, yeah, he said yes, so probably sometime this week. Hopefully he understands the stress of as soon as possible, I hope. So maybe this weekend. Uh, I really want to have the party on, like, Friday or Saturday or something. Um, but, yeah, I really want to have that party, so... Uh, that'll be really swag. Anyways, so let's begin with the tour 7 minutes and 40 seconds in. So we start off our Springfeld tour with a beautiful flag. I'm going to detail it more, add some clouds, add some more like flowers and nature and stuff. And, uh, you know, just make it look like a really nice flag. It kind of looks like the Animal Crossing logo with the brown, you know, like a kind of a sign around it. Uh, I'm not experienced in like pixel art or Animal Crossing design, so this is kind of my first take on it. Um... I guess my first take on it was City Folk when I made, when I had an extremely difficult time making a Lisa's sweater from The Simpsons in that one episode where she got that cool outfit or whatever that everyone makes like aesthetic edits about. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty fly outfit. So I tried to make her like sweater and it was much harder than it should have been. And I was extremely mad. <laughs> that was on the stream like a long time ago, I remember. But anyways... So we begin our journey at the airport, and as we enter, I'm going to go over this part quick because I already kind of went over it the last stream, but this is our entrance. I changed it up a lot, even though I liked the old one. I just wanted to give it more of a city feel, I guess is the word. It's not super city-like. I don't know how to describe my town, but we have these uh, to kind of give it more depth and like you know, from afar, you can't really see anything because of it, and it, it makes it look like a mystery, and like there's more to discover behind it. So I got Cosmos just to show everyone what the best flower is. We got waterfalls and a bridge that are really, I love these bridges. Um, and then we have this. We have uh, pink wind flowers here. I might mix it up and have a variety of flowers here, but I do really like how the pink ones look. Uh, got coconut trees, I guess to kind of give it like a tropical beach feel. I, again, I don't know the aesthetic of my island, but, um, you know, that kind of makes for a nice opening. And then we have this signpost, which I think is really fitting here. A, you walk in and it kind of tells you where to go, even though it doesn't really tell you where to go. Uh, you know, more windflowers. I have this b cute little, um, I really like this, even though it's so simple. I have this really cute little area with a cupcake on it because it was my birthday yesterday and my favorite villagers, my three favorite villagers, my squad, really nice forced perspective, thank you. Um, so um, my my three favorite villagers, the squad, hold, held a party for me. Those specific three. I could not believe my luck. I still can't and I'm really grateful. So it's like they really know me, man. 
So yeah, we have a birthday cupcake there that they gave me. Um, they gave me multiple. I actually have more. Ignore all the garbage in my pockets. Okay. So we have that really nice little area right there. So simple, but so quaint in a way. You can rest there from after going to the airport and after taking a long flight to Springfield. Um, and then I have this absurd moon that I love so much. It's redonkulous and it looks great at night. So, and, and this whole terraforming area I really like. I started experimenting a lot with terraforming, which I haven't really done a lot of before. Because, you know, I'm kind of trying to take a nature, like a cozy, naturey feel on my island. I always say nature. I should just say natural. But, like, I, I really like that kind of aesthetic. It makes it feel so cozy and nice. But I didn't want the whole town to be like that because... I want my town to be, like, big and grand and, like, a, you know, there's a hotel. I mean, it's got to be, it's a resort, you know? So I didn't want to make the whole thing like that. So just some parts of it, try to mix it together to make it uh, an, its own, I guess, Allison core. <laughs> so, or Springfield core. That's, that's the theme. That's the theme of my island, Springfield core. That is it. So I have that moon there. It's a nice entrance, nice stuff to look at. We're going to go right first. <laughs> Uh, maybe going left first is the, nah, well, let's just go right first. Okay, so, um, last night there was an atlas moth on this tree, which I can't get behind there, so I had to go all the way around, but I was still trying to continue the tour during it, and it despawned, and I died. So, lord, why did I say that? Lit, lit. <laughs> I still say that sometimes, from time to time. But yeah, um, we go this way, and you kind of have three choices here. If you look, you have some pathing in there that you can go to. You have this down here, or you have this, which leads to the plaza. So I am going to go this way first. Um, this is probably the way most people would go because it's kind of hard to see those little paths there. But we have some fencing here just to kind of divide off the area, make it feel like a little bit cramped. Not like in a bad way, but just like, you know, just fill in some space. Um, make it look like a real town, I guess. And, you know, it got more terraforming right there before it kind of comes to a close. I like how it kind of fades. Like, you know, you got uh, flowers and a wind turbine and all that up there and all this. And then it kind of goes into just like a simple uh, two-tier right here, just a single waterfall, and then it ends. So um, we got pink and white uh, flowers here because they're really pretty together. Um, those are the only white tulips and white mums I will ever have on this island. So probably uh, uh, hyacinths too. I think they're pronounced that way. I keep calling them hiccups because it's just easier, but <laughs> we have an airport sign. This tells you where the airport is. It's really helpful um, just to, you know, like if I want to make my island a dream address one day, um, which means, but that would mean I'd have to um, erase some of the messages that my friends have left me on my billboard. Otherwise, I may get reported. So if I do end up doing a dream address, you know, you start in the plaza and uh, you go down. You know, a lot of people like on Dream Island, me, myself as well, frowning. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to do it for like as long as I can. Maybe I won't even have it as a dream address. Who knows? But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, when you walk down, you just see this and then you know, oh, okay, and then you start going. It's a nice, just simple path. And then you see this and it just kind of leads you there. So I think that really works out wonders. It's an easy path from the plaza to the airport, but still crowded in a way so that you can't just immediately see the plaza. It's kind of hidden away, cozy. So even though it has this right here, you know, just this open space. So I really like what I did with that. And then we have a karaoke station. I want to have like chairs over here. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to fit it, but I want to have like corner chairs and booths there so that you could sit down, cheer for whoever's singing. This is just bringing me back to when I ironically played Meep City with my friends in a dinosaur costume. And <laughs> we found this weird karaoke room in my uh, friend's house. And we, I, I sang, what did I sing? Did I? I should have sang the Clone High opening. <laughs> I don't even remember what I sang. It was some dumb song. Not Meep City, God. <laughs> no. I would never come here. I don't sing. Dang. Yeah, I mean, I sing. I do sing. I do sing. Actually, it's pretty. I like the whole aesthetic of everything. Thank you so much. Kind of cottagecore-esque. Yeah, that's kind of like how it is in some parts of it. Um, also, the drums sound amazing with KK Cruising. But anyways... Uh, you get some cliffs around here so that it, it looks, like, cozy, you know? 
Um, I don't like it to just be open. It didn't look good at, like that at all before, so we got that. Uh, the flowers continue on this side. You see this sign that shows you where the shop is, but before we go up there, we have this area down here. And it's a nursery, and it's a work in progress, a huge work in progress. Hi, Tangy. Uh, Big Top was, like, coming over here a lot last night and watering the plants and sniffing all of them, and he likes plants, and it's very wholesome. So, um... It's just a work in progress nursery, you know? I really like plant nurseries. They're very pretty. Um, you know, just got like a birdhouse and wasp nest just as like aesthetic. You should play Shuba Duck on Roblox. I'm so sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. I I mean, I'll look into it because you, request, you requ re requested it. Wow. Okay, so I'll, I'll look into it maybe on a stream because I've never heard of it and I don't play any Roblox games unironically except for Murder Mystery 2. So... Uh, yeah, we got these random flowers. I might swap these out with different flowers, but I don't know. I want to have, like, a little garden in here, but also I'm going to have a garden somewhere else, probably, maybe. So, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I also have these. I'm going to have a row of them. I'm going to have um, another one of these right next to it. It's going to be, like, all organized, like a nursery is. And then just a garden wagon in the middle. That looks really nice. I love the garden wagons. Got some stalls with some weed on it, and it's pretty nice. Uh, it's not finished, obviously. The fencing isn't done. None of that's done. Um, but yeah, hold on, I gotta clear my throat, <clears> throat> okay, now, uh, we have this also unfinished area, this is the shop, and you go up an incline, I really like this incline, it's really pretty, um, yeah, just, just some nature like hedges and trees and flowers and this thing. And you, we're going to have, a, like, a farm here. I'm going to probably put some fencing around this as much as I can, at least. And it's going to be really neat. So when you walk up, you're going to have to kind of go around it, but that's fine. Um, and it's just going to be filled with these. <laughs> it's just going to be full of these. How are you today? I'm doing very well, actually. How are you? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh-oh. Uh that kind of spoils that area. I do really need to, like put trees around here and stuff and kind of cover that up over there because it's just a little too open for me um and naked and barren so i'll fix that up but oops no please there okay <laughs> There's a little street organ. that's cute um you got a trash can over here so you can dump stuff out and yeah it's a nook's cranny you know nook's cranny baby we're gonna backtrack a bit before we proceed we're going to backtrack a lot. And we're going to go down this path. This nice little lovely little brick path down here. And it leads us to the beach. Um, I want to have more of an opening here. And I might get rid of the white roses here. Hey, D. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. And we got uh, little beach towels that are really cute. And I found a design pattern for them. And um, I did not make them. Uh, we got flamingos here going on a date. That's adorable. Um, we got little puddles here and there. Seaweed, just make it look natural. This is kind of a messy beach, but that's okay. Uh, you got a sandcastle, a life ring uh, over water. And then you got a shell lamp. How cute. I might move this to another beach area that looks admittedly much nicer. But yeah, it's pretty naked over here for now. So I do have to decorate the beaches more. Um, I'll pick up these. Weird how there's just two corals right there and nothing else. Um, okay, and then we have this area, which was shrunken down quite a bit, but that's okay. So, it's a little cafe, you know? You got coffee. I'm going to have turtles on both ends of these tables, um, and they're going to be the two bartenders, and they're great. So, yeah, there's a little coffee shop. Who needs Brewster when you got two turtles? Uh, but, yeah, it's really nice. I found those stools, and they fit wonderfully. So, uh, yeah, you got the nursery right there and all that. You got these. You can go through here if you want. But I think the way you're supposed to get to that bar right now is supposed to be uh, from the route that we just went uh, through that path. So, my, my voice is kind of crackling, huh? Crackling? Is that a word? Uh, so, yeah, this beach is very naked and barren. But one day, one day. Uh, okay, so let's walk away from that. And backtrack again. We're just going to cut through the trees to make it easier on ourselves. I uh, got some Cosmos here. I don't know, even know if I'm going to keep those. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> There's some random, like, naked spots in this land that I don't really know what to do with. Uh, all that's behind that nook's cranny is just naked space that I don't know what to do with. And I need to, like, 
fence it off and like make it trees, you know. Uh, cause this, that's one of those random gaps between cliffs that I really don't like. So I had to figure out something to do with them. But yeah, we got the flag again and stupid label here taking up NPC space with her worthlessness. Uh, okay. I don't have like a distinct path right here, but that is okay. We're going to go the near way that makes it feel more finished. Yeah, that was a bee. I like to scare off the honeybees. I have to. I don't, I don't like a buzzing around. Okay, so we have this really nice pathing here. Just a dirt path. Very natural. Very, very sweet, if you will, I guess. It's very nice. Um, I don't think I want to go up there yet. We're just going to keep going along this trail. I'm also not going to go up there yet, I don't think. Yeah, no. But you can see some sneak peeks of it. It's just this ho nice whole path here. Um, got a log bench and stuff here. Looks nice and natural. Got terraforming right here. Blue, uh, not blue. Black and red rose, uh, roses and flowers. Then we go across this bridge and my campsite area that I love to death. Whew! I gotta make a log bench and put it here. That's what I meant to do. Or not a log bench, just like, uh, like just wood, like a log right here. Make a natural campfire there. The waterfall is nice. Thank you so much. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of, it kind of goes into another area, but for now, this is the campsite, and I really like it, and I love these black cosmos, I gotta get to making more, I like water, it's pretty, it is pretty, oh my gosh, um, and then orange and red is kind of the theme here, I guess, uh, ooh, it's making more cosmos, and orange cosmos seem to make black cosmos, so I'm gonna try to do that, have another little campfire thing here, got a picnic, so pretty, it's got, what is it playing? It's playing Soulful KK. Uh, you know, picnic basket here. Got a lamp there. I don't even know why this is here, honestly. I don't think it even fits, really, but, like, whatever. It's been there for so long. Um, so, yeah, really, really cozy campfire area that I adore. Um, we're gonna keep going this way. So, uh, this bridge just leads over here back to the entrance. And then we keep, oh, by the way, down here is nothing. We have Puddle's house because I don't know where to put her house. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I always forget to check this beach because it's so small. And there's a bunch of flowers covering it and I want to walk through all of them. So, but yeah, we got a bridge here. And then we go over here. We got these trees, a water cooler, I guess. Because, um, you know, that's nice. And then up here is the Able Sisters, which I'm actually going to go into and check out. I'm probably going to replace these pink and purple roses over here. Um, you know, you can see the campsite is so nice. Campsite is near the Able Sisters if they want to get themselves a little gift from our island. Um, and then we go into the Able Sisters, my beautiful face, <laughs> and uh, see what they have today because I haven't been here yet because it wasn't open because I'm up early. Oh, I hate the wand. I hate it so much. I don't even know why I use it. I hate it. Ew, I'm totally naked under. Wow. Yes, I do. What do you think? I'm I'm poor. I'm poor now. Oh, they got all these like a uh, colored aesthetic uh, athletic jackets. These are nice. I like that blue. Ooh, look at all these comedian outfits. They look neat. I think I have an orange one. Ooh, the purple one's really pretty with that uh pink pinkish reddish bow tie. This is also kind of nice. Oh, they're all nice. Except this one. This one's ugly. And this one's ugly as well. And the yellow one's pretty ugly. But all the others are nice. These are really nice to give off the vacation feel. Athletic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, athletic. Aesthetic, athletic, aesthetic. Aesth uh, um, these are really nice to give off that vacation-y feel. And I really like that about these. So I've been, I, I bought a couple of these. Um, they're going to be in like a gift shop that I'm putting together because it's a vacation. Enjoy yourself. But I, yeah, I'm not going to buy that because I already have some. Um, and they, they got shorts too. Uh, ooh, 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 actually, ooh. Okay. Um, I don't remember if I have a black one or not. I think I do. So I'm just going to get this. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to get any of these, actually. I have a lot of them. I have the red, I have the pink, possibly have the black. There's the staff uniform, which might actually be really fitting for someone here. I don't know. Um, got ripped jeans. Um, I'm gonna. I'm completing my Chloe cosplay further. 
blah, 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 shorts, blah, 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 fedora, this, wow, huh, anyways, whoa, <gasps> oh, no, never mind, that's a little too much, <laughs> but I was gonna say Chloe cosplay, but no, I already have a hairstyle for that, glasses, leggings, ooh, flower sandals that you can barely even see, I should waste my money on those, <laughs> Those are all pretty. Am I about to buy nothing from here? I think I'm about to buy nothing. What happened? They just have like the same stuff as yesterday. You know what's funny? That meme of that lady speaking Android notifications. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I think there's plenty of memes of people speaking in notifications. And they're all great. I love Gen Z humor. I love Gen Z in general, honestly. We're great. We're amazing. Okay, let's continue with the tour. So there's Able Sisters right there, which I think is really nice. Um, it's That was like, this whole area over here was so naked and barren, and there was nothing here. It was deserted. So uh, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to plop something here, and it worked out. So I still like it. So that's where the Able Sisters is. We go over this way on this path, and... What do we check out first? Let's go down here, just clear it out of the way. Um, we'll go over that area up there soon. We have a cafe here, kinda. We'll get into it, or a bar, more like a bar, not a cafe. There's no coffee there, so it's not a cafe, but I call it a cafe, whatever. So we have pink and green mums because light pink and light green look great together. I love them. We got some coconut trees, they're kind of scattered. I might like take them out and just put flowers there, but. Uh, we got not enough pink mums and a lot of green mums, so, um, have these nice folding chairs. That last one isn't even, you can't even sit in it, but it, it fills the gap, so, um, probably should be telling you this stuff. Uh, we got a mermaid couch that looks really nice, and it's fitting for the sea aesthetic, of course. Got a sea globe there, which is obviously fitting for the aesthetic as well. Got coconut juice. KK Bubblegum playing on here. A beautiful ukulele, which really matches with the area. Maracas that don't match with the area, but that's okay. That is fine. And then we have a fridge that you can apparently get changed in. Truly amazing. I'm going to put back on my outfit. So I'm running around pretty much butt-ass naked. Um, might as well be with, like, drip like that. Come on. Um, uh, we got... A smoothie maker. It's really nice. I like this area. And apparently Big Top does too. So we got more green mums and not enough pink mums because that's how it be. We've got surfboards for surfing and uh, some wetsuits for swimming and diving and a lawn chair, which is a, it's apparently called a lawn chair, but I call it a beach chair because I do what I want. We have a sign here on the pier because it's all slippery. Whoa. Oh, that looked way bigger on the stream screen. It's actually like nothing. What is that? Why does it look so weird? Why is it like really long but skinny? But not enough to be an eel. It's not an eel. I don't know. It's like the shadow of the waves. It's some, something weird. I don't know. Whatever. We're not going to worry about that. So we have some beach towels up here. Let's uh, ba backtrack a bit because uh, there's not much else up there. Uh, we go over here. Here's a hotel sign. I really like it. I made it myself. It was kind of inspired by, like, well, I, I mean, I saw, like, a person made a hotel sign. So when I wanted to make a hotel sign, that's I could only think of theirs. And theirs was, like, black with just white text that said hotel and narrow and stuff. So, um, but I added some hearts. I made mine a little, a little bit fancier with, like, a white uh, sign around the hotel, you know, whatever. Um, I'm still new to it, so maybe these will all get redone someday when I mastered the work of Animal Crossing pixel art. <laughs> but until then, uh, I have this beautiful area. Animal City is playing on these bamboo speakers. You got a fountain in the middle. It really pulls the whole place together. All these blue hydrangea pant plants, uh, hydrangea, I don't know, bro. These shrubs, these bushes, and blue roses really pull the place together. I want to get another ribbon eel model on the other side of this since I have one right here. And this is our golf course. So, as you can see, 
got a ball. It's not a golf ball, but it's good enough. And I, I actually, okay, I really like the golf course because it's something I actually came up with myself. It wasn't something that I looked up online and went, okay, I saw these golf clubs in the Nook's Cranny, and I was like, man, why are they so expensive? I'm not going to get those. I don't need them. But then I was like, maybe I do need them. Maybe we can make a golf course. And in a day, spending after spending 54000 on these golf clubs, my lord, I made this whole golf course area, except the designs. I did not make these designs on the floor. But I did get the wonderful idea one day to put little red flags by the um by the holes it's perfect obviously and it shows you where your goal is it's great so i really i really like this area a lot i was supposed to hold my umbrella wasn't i well i have this pink balloon because i found it in nook's cranny and i like it so um we have billy's house here with these little stone things leading to it got a log chair outside got a barbecue Got all this um, because he's a jock, so I think he'd really like this area. And I wanted villagers to start coming over here because it's a golf course. Hello, come over here. It's a resort. So I like looking at the fountains that they have in the entrances of some of the golf clubs where I live when I'm uh, in the car driving down the street. Yeah, for real. Fountains really do like pull those places together. Fountains pull everything together in this game, dude. Like they just they really like they really work as an entrance, you know. But yeah, I really like this whole area. Um, I like that Billy's house is there. There's not like extreme great pathing to his house. Unless, unless you're coming from down here, then you go up this. I was supposed to go up this actually. And then you go over here to Billy's house. Man, that stink bug was not getting scared of me. Anyways, uh, over here we have another resident. You go through the roses, walk please. And uh, you got a green mums next to his house. Those were the first green mums I had. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he, he's a lazy villager, but nah. He, he's a jock in a lazy body. <laughs> he calls himself lazy, I have decided, because he is... He, 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 his whole house is filled with, like, jock stuff. And you should see his fit. You probably have seen his fit. He's totally a jock in a lazy person's body. So... He uh, has all this jock and as athletic stuff in his house. It's so obvious what he truly wants to be inside, but he's probably like really unmotivated and it takes a lot of hard work to be that type of person, work out all the time. So he just labels himself as lazy, even though he just has a lot of issues with motivation and doing work at a normal pace like other people. So that's what I decided, protect a big top at all costs. We have a mountain bike and this helmet and we got all that and it's really nice. So, um, and then another little golf course there, another little hole. This area doesn't have like exact pathing that leads to it. I'll admit that, but like, whatever. Um, we have a pool here. This is kind of like a pinkish area, pink and white. Also, this is random, but I want to give you all some recommendations for shows you should start watching if you're bored. Okay, thank you. I'll be sure to look at the chat for that. Um... I have a lot of shows that I'm actually supposed to watch, like old Cartoon Network shows that I never watched when I was younger because I was a fool, and I was just a SpongeBob Brainiac. A Brainiac? Who the hell says Brainiac? No one says Brainiac. Whatever. Uh, we're not going to walk up this way. I, I, I am because I'm getting these shells. But as you can see, this is one of those areas that is just, I don't even know what's going on. Rolf's house is here because I didn't know what to do. What is going on here? Oh, that's an eel. That's an eel. That's new. Oh, he saw it? I didn't think he saw it. Well, god dang it. I need eels so that I could build another model. Uh, ah, spoilers up there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, I mean, I might as well. Let's just go. <laughs> dang it, I didn't think he saw it. Anyways. We have a gift shop area, kind of, sort of. It's like a prize area, not a gift shop. I guess it's a gift shop, but whatever. It's like a prize area. It's a prize area. So all these prizes, and it's all colorful. I got really inspired by something I saw online, and I had to, I had to, I had to make it, dude. I had to. Sam and Cat, I used to watch it all the time when I was younger. Uh, you got a gumball machine. It's so colorful over here. I really like it, and I had plenty of items for it, so it's like, okay, let's do it. 
got an ice cream thing there. It's all really pretty. So we're going to go back down this way. Did, did I walk past this or did this just spawn? I don't know. I'm going to go back down this way. Very upset about that eel, actually. I'm going to scare away this fish and take out my anger on it. Okay, let's go back this way where the magic happens. Uh, golf course. Now, let me tell you something about this golf course. When I added it in, um, I didn't have any other plans, really. But, you know, recently I discovered what people do with their interior designs and extra accounts and extra houses on their islands. Um, I need to put some flowers and shrubs here, but until then. Oh, actually, I have shrubs with me. Let me do that, actually, because I, I need to get rid of these. I need to put them somewhere. Those probably won't, like, be the bushes there. I'm probably going to get, like, you know, the same bushes that are down here. But whatever. That's that's how it is for now. Behold. The hotel entrance with no hotel yet. <laughs> this is our beautiful plant hotel entrance with these pink, yellow, and purple tulips. Because I really like the color combinations there. Um... You know, these purple hydrangeas because they look really nice. Swinging benches. We got these cypress plants. Think the cypress plants, right? That's how you should pronounce them, I think. Um, most tulips I don't really like. So I had to buy some yellow tulip saplings. Or saplings. Some yellow tulip seeds because I didn't actually have any on me. So I bought some because I got rid of them all. Um, and yeah, I, I think they really look nice together. I really like these this color combination. Kind of like a sunset. Like, warmer colors, like pink and yellow, but also kind of a cooler color. Like, purple's, like, right in between cool and a warm color. I don't even know if I'd consider it a cool color, but... I mean, it is a cool color, but, you know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have two buildings here. One is gonna be, like, the lobby and the gift shop and the restaurant. All those hotel needs. And then the next one's gonna be all the rooms. And they're all gonna look different in their own stylized ways. So we're gonna have two buildings there. I don't... I only have one of the buildings on the right now because I don't need to take up more space. Um, but yeah, uh, this is pretty nice. So if we go up here, this is deserted right now. But when we get the hotels there, I'm going to have an incline and it's going to go up to a balcony. It's going to go up to a balcony and the balcony is going to have a pool. Obviously, hotel, hotels got to have pools. So even though it's by the beach, you got to have a pool too. I, I stayed at a, at a Mexico resort. Man, I miss that place, bro. We gotta plan another trip to Mexico or Boston or somewhere. Boston's a totally different place. I just really want to go. I really want to travel. So, <laughs> this like Animal Crossing has been making me want to travel and like making my island, putting it together, putting together a resort, just really making me want to do that. Oh, hello. it's too over the fountain i need it to be over here more because it'll disappear if it falls into the fountain be someone good baby let's do it so yeah um it's getting a little cloudy here huh good thing i'm wearing my rain outfit it looks way brighter on your guys's end and i don't know why it looks it looks quite dark on my screen Ooh, a gold nugget so yeah I really like it. It's weird, but I love just walking around on stuff on Animal Crossing. I love just walking around and the sounds of my footsteps on the pavement. It's nice. Anyways, so yeah, I really like this pathing as well. Uh, we're going to have a balcony in the back. It's going to have a pool and it's going to have a garden too. Um, looks like we already got a garden here. <laughs> these are nice uh, colors, honestly. I need to get rid of these pink lilies. Why do I have them? I do not like pink lilies. Why are there pink lilies? I don't like them. Uh, they're the only, like, pink flower I don't like. Uh, here's the hotel currently. I'll show you inside. You got the gift. You got the 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 uh, prizes over there that look really nice. <sighs> okay, so this is the hotel currently. Can't pick that up because it's in someone else's house. This is not my normal house. This is the hotel house. Oh, yeah, I got to show you guys my interior, too. Okay, so I just keep getting money from this account that I'm playing right now and just leaving it for this other account <laughs> because I'm not going out and getting money on my own. No, 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 sorry. Uh, we have, the, oh, geez, this is the hotel lobby. Got a bell there. That's fun. Um, this desk is going to grow bigger and you'll go check in. I'm going to get keys on the wall because those are an item that exists. 
The walls look really like old and ugly. I'm aware of that and I need to fix it with something different. We're kind of going for a yellow theme there and yellow was in the name of the wall. So I'm just like, no, I'll get it. It doesn't look good. So I'll fix that, but I don't really want it to be like an old oh, hell, hotel, but that's right now. I want it to be more modern. So old, old isn't bad necessarily, but it can be. It looks just the wall is just really ugly, to be honest. That's what I'm trying to get at. Got a water cooler, fill up your water. Got a gong, just because, I don't know, it fits with the style. Uh, got a suitcase, because that's fitting. And got couches that you can't sit in. I should stop telling you guys, like, these details. Got a coffee grinder. You're going to need one of those to make some coffee. Got a lamp that matches with the sofas. Um, Let's go to the right first. This is the actual gift shop. <laughs> I, um, I started making a gift shop. I'm like, I was kind of considering like, what what I saw online that I got inspired by was I saw people making arcades and then I saw them, um, when they would make like arcades, they would have a separate room where they had like prizes that you can get from the arcades. And they would have these super colorful like kid core rooms full of all those kinds of items that I showed you back there. And I really wanted that, but I don't, I don't think I had the space for it. I am going to have an arcade in this place, but not like I don't know I might uh, and the, the the prize area kind of looks nice on the beach it looks really pretty it's just kind of there for you know uh, I might add like a little carnival there I might add some stalls and games and stuff stalls am I, why am I talking like JFK <laughs> oh god okay anyways <laughs> well this is the gift shop currently I'm not exactly sure you know what I'm gonna do with everything but uh I, I like this I, I like this idea. Just having surfboards for the beach. I'm going to have a bunch of golf clubs for the golf course. Because the hotel, let me explain why its location is perfect. So you got the golf course, right? And a lot of hotels actually have golf courses. Um, what, if, what if I uh, uh, talk uh, like JFK for the rest of this tour? <laughs> oh, God. What if I... Because oh, it's... Uh, uh, Kind of fun to talk in his voice, I won't lie. <laughs> we got the uh, uh, gift shop here. We're going to have golf clubs because there's a golf course in front of the uh, 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 hotel. <laughs> uh, we have these tropical looking shirts on the wall because they are uh, uh, fitting for the... Uh, vacation feel <laughs> for the uh, <laughs> hotel it's very fitting <laughs> fitting he doesn't talk like that it's very fitting 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 does he say that i don't know i don't know what he would say whatever we have these because they're very fitting for the uh, aesthetic of the uh, island and the resort you gotta have some tropical uh, uh, items in here in this gift shop here we have it's turning into just a typical British accent, yeah? <laughs> now it's turning into Australian. <laughs> now we have sandals on the wall because that looks nice. And we have a... Uh, our... Uh, uh, our uh, <laughs> I actually stutter a lot, though. So this is kind of fitting. <laughs> uh, we have this bathing suit. Oh, I can't move because this ain't my house. But it needs to be in the corner. Why ain't it in the corner? It should be in the corner. But yeah, when you enter, you're kind of supposed to be turning this way. I'm hoping when people, like, come to my island and look at the rooms, they turn. So that that's why I made the surfboards like this. So that they'll turn and see the sandals on the back. Because <laughs> there's going to be just a wall of sandals. It's going to be great. And yeah, that is the work in progress gift shop so far. It's going to look really, like, beachy. And it's going to look great. 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 We have a really pathetic spa area up here with like two items in it. Maybe three. Three. There's three items in it. And the floor that I'm not really sure about. Um, it's like a sauna. Um, we got a log cabin wall, which is fitting for a sauna. It looks like kind of like a sauna. It's kind of like a spa area. I don't know. The thing is, I could go for like a really modern kind of spa area where it like... You know, like, it's all, like, white, like a normal bathroom, and it looks super nice, and you got, like, air refresheners in there or something like that. Or I could go for this kind of sauna feel, uh, which is, like, old-fashioned kind of. It's difficult with these um, 
differing bathtubs, but I think I'm gonna have like, I don't know, maybe mix of both. Cause I, I mean this, like I just said earlier, this hotel isn't supposed to be like old fashioned. It's supposed to be more modern, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know why I'm so excited. This area is nothing. It, it's pretty, pretty much nothing. This whole hotel is a huge work in progress. And we still have the other building for all the rooms. So yeah, we have a gym here. I love those in real life and in the game. I hope it's so bouncy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot more stuff in there in uh, soon. There's a lot of great gym items that I should get a hold of. Um, oh, I have a ton of basketball tanks that my villagers keep giving me, and I'm never going to wear them. You damn well know that. So I'm probably going to put them on the wall or something. You could buy them. Maybe, maybe I should put those in the gift shop. I don't know. I'm going to put them in the gym because they're more fitting there. Okay, so we're going to have like a garden balcony there. You know, the hotel's going to move over here eventually, and it's going to have the rooms as well. Oh, I've talked a lot in this stream. Uh, ignore this. Ignore all this. Ignore this. Ignore all this pathing. I'm going to have my orchard up there because I've realized I really need one. I really need one. So I'm going to have that up there. Um, ignore this. That was where the wishing well was. This whole area is, I, I love it, but it's going to be moved over completely. All those trees are going to move with it. I had this whole cozy area up here that I adored, and I tore it all down, and I'm going to move it over because the hotel needs to be here. And let me explain why the hotel just needs to be in this spot. First of all, this area right here was already built in. I changed the staircase just to make it more fitting, but this whole area, maybe, maybe I should change this bridge because look at this. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, you know? So I might change the bridge to something else, but I don't know what. I don't know what. I guess a stone one, but then there's like too much stone. I might not change it, but I should. I don't know. Hello, aesthetic. Yes. Okay, so um, we got um, this whole area. Uh, we got this beautiful entrance. This was already built in, and it's perfect for like a hotel. Hotels have golf courses, so this is perfect as well. You leave the hotel that you're staying in, and you get to go out and play golf. And it's right by a, um, a, 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 a bar here. Very nice. Every time I say golf, it just turns into that. Chicky balls. Tasty balls. Balls of meat. Checked. So sweet. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so, this bridge is gonna be removed. It's gonna be gone tomorrow. I already wait. I didn't pay. I need my. I had okay. I need to go pay and get this bridge removed, and it's gonna move over. So, anyway, ciao. Anyways. I want to assume you haven't seen Clone High based on the way you're speaking. <laughs> oh, mm, that's a size four. Forget it. Get out of here, Black Bass. Okay, so this is where the areas are uh, moving. We're going to have a uh, uh, bridge right here, and it's going to lead to the museum. We have our, this is our school area, and we're uh, going to have, no, I haven't seen Clone High. You should. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so <laughs> it's so funny. Um, oh, 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 this is also by the hotel area is perfect. That's right. You have a campsite right next to it, like a cozy little campsite. So anybody staying at the campsite, if they want to check into a hotel, it's right here and ditch the tent, you know? Ah, oh, it's so fancy. It's like such a perfect, da, ah, like the fountains and the, da. Ah. Who's your favorite villager on your island? I should show you guys the map. Okay, so my favorite villager is probably, yeah, 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 Sally. Um, but I also have Muffy and Bob. Those are like the full squad, Sally, Muffy, and Bob, and me, and Red, because he's great. Um, shut up. So, I'm going to start talking like you. <laughs> that's, that's JFK's voice. Oh, Cop finally moved out. Yeah, he did a while ago, um, actually. So, let me tell you guys a little story. I think I actually told this, maybe. I don't know. I get mixed up with what I tell my Discord server and what I tell the stream, but... Rolf! Hey, uh, Rolf over here. He's a villager, and I didn't know where to put him. He's not a keeper, but he's really cool, and I have so much uh, respect for him. 
Let me explain why. Rolf for uh, I had a villager named Cobb, and he was a real bitch. I really hate him. So, I, uh, 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 uh Rolf moved in. Rolf came to the uh, campsite, and when villagers come to your campsite, you can invite them to your island. But it's an extremely tedious process. They'll ask to replace a certain villager, because you can only have a certain amount. And when that happened, there, uh, I uh, didn't have space for him, and uh, most of the time the villagers ask to replace many different ones before they uh, get to the one that you want to replace, and they make you play a stupid card game until you win it, and you have to guess the right card. Stop it! But Rolf made it extremely easy. He didn't make me play uh, a single card game. He didn't make me guess once. He moved in without our, uh, any hesitation. Not to mention, after he did, he uh, asked to replace Cobb immediately. The first conversation. So I have a lot of respect for Rolf, you can imagine. He didn't make anything uh, too hard for us, yeah? <laughs> he does not say yeah. Okay. Oh, there's another balloon. Uh, but yeah, that is why uh, there that uh, uh, whole hotel area is uh, uh, perfect, and I will not be taking any criticism. Just kidding. <laughs> now we have this uh, uh, present here. What do we got? Five K bells. Now, if we move to this area, ignore this. I should be getting rid of this. Don't even remember how it got here. How did this actually... Oh, I remember. Bob's house used to be here. That's crazy. Serious changed so much. It's funny what just a couple, like, terraforming things can do. When I, when I look at my actual Switch screen too much and not enough at the stream screen, I tend to move things around not realize it, so sorry. We have this uh, uh, blue balloon because it's perfect. I now have a pink balloon of my own. How beautiful. The blue balloon is here because uh, uh, the school is going to be using some primary colors like blue and yellow and red, as you can see from the blue balloon and the uh, uh, red wishing well with the yellow coin surrounding it. And then when you go back here, this whole water body is going to be gone. So the school is probably going to uh, go right here. I am thinking I'm going to go. All right. See you later. Have a good day. We don't have the uh, the <laughs> the uh, uh, school right here. And when we have the school there, we have the balloon next to it. Have a nice day, you two. Then we're gonna have the park back here. The house is in the way. The stupid tent. I probably shouldn't have built it yet. There was no reason for me to build it yet, actually. This is gonna be a uh, rather school. Looks pretty pathetic right now. So yeah, this will be the uh, the park. Hawk, that sounds like the sound of a vulnerable teenage girl. Sounds like the knock, whatever. We're going to have a bridge here. We're going to move that whole area over. And then it's going to connect to the era museum. And oh yeah, I forgot there uh, is a staircase there. There used to be, but there isn't anymore. I uh, have these spoiled turnips here because I need a fly to spawn in them so that I can complete my critopedia. Get a final fly. And we have the staircase that leads down to the museum. Pretty cool entrance, yeah? I'm gonna need to stop doing that. We have our, uh, another custom thing that I made myself, actually. That sign. It is a trail, and it's a nature trail. This nature trail is right next to the museum, and it's educational. It's gonna be filled with the uh, fish and bug models and some fossils. So it's gonna look pretty cool. I really like the uh, aesthetic of this. It used to be somewhere else, but it didn't have any uh, models of bugs and fish. It was just a simple area. Just for fun. Now it has a purpose, and it's next to the museum, which is quite uh, uh, fitting because you learn about bugs and fish and fossils. We have this table here, which is really quite fitting for the area as well. We have a scorpion model here, and a red snapper model over there so far. We have an outdoor bath because it looks really nice. We have this amber right here, which is a fossil of some sort. We have a swinging bench that looks great with the area. 
And they're a uh, kind of empty area over here with a picnic blanket that I have to fill with something. And then they're a uh, overgrown beach because I really uh, like how it looks, actually. This incline is unfortunately going to leave and we're going to get rid of this area here. But that's okay because I think it makes Red Secret Beach a bit more secret, which goes with his whole character pretty much. So that kind of fits. So, yeah. Let's uh, uh, go over here. Back this way, past all the models and the, and the trail. Let's go back up and go down this land bridge I made. Oh, hold on. Hawk, that sounds like the sound of a banded dragonfly. Ah! That uh, uh, sounds like 4,500 bells walking away from me. Flying away? We got it. <laughs> this is oddly really fun to talk in. Okay. Balloon is back out. Let's go. Uh, uh, let's uh, uh, go over here. Uh, if you don't mind anybody viewing this, please let me know that you are here. Because YouTube is saying there are zero people here. And it uh, uh, doesn't really appear to be accurate most of the time. We have uh, uh, Lily of the Valleys. Is it the voice? Is it the voice? Do you not like the voice? We have Lily of the Valleys, which is what you get from, uh, now I gotta now I gotta lose it again. <laughs> Lily of the Valleys, which, um, they, you get them from having a five-star island. So they've been growing around, and I really like them. I actually think no one is here. That is unfortunate. I'm hoping it'll grow again. So I haven't even gotten over the neighborhood. I was going to stream the new Animal Crossing game I got from the GameCube. Maybe I should, uh... No, everyone's in school. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's lagging? I don't think it is. I think everyone just left. That's unfortunate. That's never really happened before. What? Quit! You're not moving out! Well, I guess that's a good way to end it off, I guess. <laughs> that's a really weird way to end it off. Maybe if anyone's re-watching this, hello. I drove everyone away with my JFK impression. People are so mean. There's a bakery. If anybody's re-watching this over, we have a bakery with Animal City playing in the whole neighborhood. We have our uh, other houses. And uh, uh, that's it. So yeah, double bridge whammy, which looks really nice. I like Ed's yard a lot. He got a garden wagon, my favorite color of the bunch. And a uh, really pretty iron garden table and chair. Yeah, that's my favorite yard. And he keeps asking to move out. We have a lot of trees and stuff around here. We've got lots of flowers. Got my house up there. And Sally singing. And uh, uh, over here. There's a little secret path there. You can use to get over here. You'll need a ladder to get over here because it's uh, 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 kind of a restricted area. And uh, uh, you use it to... It's a junkyard. That's why there's a spoiled turnip and a trail of ants around it. And we have cone. And flowers that I need to move somewhere else because they're not fitting in a junkyard. And it's all a Life is Strange reference because there's a junkyard in there. And uh, uh, there's an emperor butterfly over there which really symbolizes the series. Same with the lighthouse. Well, uh, this is unfortunate because I was uh, uh, going to play the GameCube as well. I wasn't just doing a tour of my island. I was uh, uh, going to do... My first gameplay of our, uh, the GameCube version of Animal Crossing. But I guess I'll just do that on my own time now. But that is okay because my voice is uh, kind of running out now. So if anybody's watching this over, thank you for coming. And uh, I'll see you later.